Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Cologne Podcast. I'm Mike. And I'm Ryan. We're two best friends. We're going on a fragrance journey, smelling fragrances, and giving you uneducated opinions. And today, we've got a very special fragrance. One that's had a hype machine so big. Well, I mean, pretty big. I don't know how big, but pretty big, right? Larger than average yeah. sized hype machine. Oh, we're talking social media campaign that'll make you... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? We're going to see if it's worth it. This fragrance, I had seen the adverts, but then our friend Steve yeah. from Everyman Fragrance, you may have known and loved him from the Scent Geeks podcast. He messaged me because we're very best friends. And he said, I bought into the hype. I bought a bottle and I sent back a screenshot and said, I bought it too. <laughs> Let's do an episode. <laughs> So, yeah, he's here. We're about to do it. But first. Mm-hmm. Oh, did we even say the fragrance yet? Uh, it's Gravité by Particle. There, there you go, guys. And as usual, <laughs> we have a Fragrantica review, but we thought we'd do you one better. We've got a positive and a negative. We're going to hit you with the positive first, let you know everything you could come to expect from this fragrance. And then we've got Fragrantica full of trolls ready to let you down. Okay, first we're going to start with a positive, and this is from Timmy over on Instagram. I'm going to do a smell test. Mm. Let's see what's better. The cologne I've been using for three years that was gifted to me by my mother-in-law or Gravité. Here we go. Mmm. It's masculine, but chill. What is that? Um, Gravité. <laughs> it's that video I'm doing for Particle. Can you take a break for a minute? Well, hold on, I'll be done in just a little bit. What do you know? Well, it lasts 12 hours, so... I just need five minutes. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm done now. I think we He's have... taking a shirt off. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Guys, we're in a <laughs> wife <yourself>. beater. <laughs> Coming. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay, yeah. So, the premise of that is he sprayed it on. Oh, I'm doing this. And then his wife in the background says... Uh, yeah, Timmy, could you put on that wife beater and come in here and give me five minutes of pleasure? I don't need it for the last 12 hours. Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it Lord. even lasted 12 minutes, Timmy. Just get in here. Just five. Five minutes. <laughs> All right. And then we have, uh, we have our review over on Fragrantica from Oyilla, who just says, scrap. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be me today, but <laughs> yeah, for oh sure. Oh, God. <laughs> well, we're going to find out. There's been a lot of money put behind this to make sure that we all know about it, so it must be good. And I can't wait to smell it with Steve and my best friend, Ryan. But first, we got to do that one night stand review, going back in time to smell five different Pinewood fragrances. Five nights of Pinewood. <laughs> Hit the music, Todd. Yeah. One night stand review. Well, Mike, after spending the night, five nights with Pineward, what did you think were some of the lows and highs? Where the what's the one that you liked and maybe the worst one? The worst one, Merkwood for me. I think so. I think I gotta go with Merkwood. But the best and quite possibly one of the better fragrances we've smelled in 2023. Yeah. White fur. It was shockingly good. Shockingly good. I wonder why that one was like so like a wearable fragrance. Yeah. That would that we both I think we both said it's a hard sample to possibly buy. Right. Depending on what you like. If the price was there, it would absolutely be a buy. It's still about a little too much. Fifty dollars more than yeah. I could spend, you know, with a clear conscience <laughs> on it. But it was badass. It was super badass. The gingerbread one was nice too. It was more of a, I want to say gourmand. I think more scent memory type of fragrance. Yeah, but it was good. And the tree stuff, which that's what I was trying to find, was something that we know, but some of it was a little too real yeah. and too earthy, dirt, and grimy. Right. And there's people out there interested in that. I wouldn't be shocked if the majority of these might 
make their way to being in a diffuser or some sort of you know thing like that as opposed to just a fragrance actually let me read something from our patreon if you're not a subscriber make sure to head over to patreon.com slash cologne podcast we have giveaways we have extra episodes we have early access we have one-on-one time with me and mike we have lives coming up yeah we have everything 2024 is going to be fucking wild over there it's going to be wild on Patreon. And it's been wild. We got some great friends of the podcast over there. And one that actually contributes quite a bit. He's sent stuff. He's yeah. been a Patreon. He's an avid listener. But I want to read this comment because it was actually, we did a review of Beaver by mm-hmm. Zoologists over there. That's right. We have a listener that goes by Not Okay Music. And we did this review of Beaver, and it was a really rough fragrance. Once a week, we usually let the patrons pick between two things, get an episode created, and they've been doing great. They've picked some great fragrances, and we've had some good times. But they ended up picking Beaver, and it was, whoo, it was rough. It wasn't as rough as some of the other zoologist fragrances that are out there and available, but it still sings the same note, which is keep going. So he was replying to the episode and hearing our disgust for it. He said, LOL, I don't know. I think maybe zoologists got it right. When I think of the actual animal, I think of stink glands. Maybe this scent is some kind of olfactory journey into dataism. Is that the word? Dataism? I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically it's like emphasizing the offness of something. Yeah. And so... I think he was implying that maybe they intentionally made it not as wearable as it should have been. Yeah, it's more of an art piece, right? Yeah, conceptual in nature. So I think a lot of those fragrances from Pinewood, I feel like kind of lean to that. Yeah, it's the same thing as we saw with Somber. Yeah. Which was like, nobody would ever wear this. This is disgusting. And they're like, we did it. (laughs) We did it, boys. We made it. You guys are going to fucking puke when you smell it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, apparently, I, I feel like, in you know, on Pine Word's website, the gentleman that runs his name is Nick, I believe. He mm-hmm. even kind of says, like, he's not looking for people to really talk about or care. It's just something that he's kind of passionate about. He's right. not looking for, you know, shilling it and shit like that. So He's maybe just having fun with it. Yeah. The guy really appreciates pine trees. Apparently. I will say, you seriously, guys, to get back to what this one night stand review was kind of really about, yeah. I will say the white fur is seriously good. Got to sample it. You really got to sample it. If you are interested in citrus, you're interested in coniferous plants out there, <laughs> uh, this would be a nice combo because it had that realistic sort of zest off of an orange type smell. Mm. It had that realistic pine tree type smell. It was, and they worked so well together. Very well. That I was like, oh, I want to wear this, but yeah. it's too expensive. And it's also such a thick, concentrated fragrance as far as oils are concerned. You can't even spray it on light clothes. It'll stain the hell out of yeah, it. Yeah, don't even try it. But it is beautiful. I agree. And with that, that's our one night stand review of Pine Words, kind of a on the house episode. Right. And now we have Steve. He's been staring through the camera at us over here, waiting <laughs> for us to shut up and do this thing. Let's smell Gravite by Particle. And also say hi to our friend from overseas, Steve. Hello, how you doing guys? It's good to be here. I know you've been really excited for us to smell this, and this has been going on for about a month or two now. You've been just biting at the bit for us to smell this thing. <laughs> yes, you in particular, Ryan, to be honest. <laughs> I really want to get your take on this. Obviously, this fragrance is hyped to hell, Yes, mainly oh, because they've just paid a load of influencers to shill it on Instagram <laughs> and whatnot. So I just kept getting spammed on this fragrance. So in the end, I annoyingly, I didn't want to buy it because of the marketing and it was so annoying but I was also so curious to smell it that I did buy it so I paid my own money Um, I definitely did not get a free bottle on this shit so yeah and then I told uh, Mike about it and he was like we're going to get on it too so this is is it I'm excited you have smelled this we haven't but we said no spoilers we're not going to go see your review Uh, so this will be a hot fresh take for us Mm -hmm. on the skin on the uh tester strip you go ahead ryan get that out of the box i mean can we just talk about the packaging while you're undoing that hey good because i actually did i was as soon before you got here we were setting up everything Ah, he put put this down and i was like i hate the packaging 
already. I don't like it. It's fucking awful, isn't it? It's, it's fucking, fucking terrible. Awful. It like it's already like predetermining like this may be bad. Because, <laughs> What's bad about it? Like for the listeners, I guess because what's well, just like two of the thinnest piece of whatever cardboard this is, and it slides up and down to reveal it. Cool, but yeah. it's like so cheap in how that it's done. I don't it's, know for it looks. It's like a kid's toy, you know. Like you've got some sort of fucking uh, Barbie yeah. car or something, and it's like in a box that with plastic around it, and you've got to slide it and pull it apart. It's that sort of cheap toy packaging. That's what it feels like to me. I'll tell you and what it's it kind of bit of an effort yeah, to, to get, get it out. out. Bottle looks, but the bottle. Yeah. I think the bottle is okay. It's I okay. like the bottle. Yeah, I'm not judging bottles. Let's see. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. It's a stiff cap. <laughs> yes. Really? It's really stiff cap. God, you can't get the damn. Cap on. There you go. Fucking sword Ooh, in the stone. Yeah, I need to need to hit arm day a little bit more, Ryan. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and it's like the cheapest cap. It's like, I don't, man. The there, cap's got some weight to it, though, no? Oh, I thought it was metal. I did, too. It's like, feels it maybe our weight to it. Maybe ours is. Mm, I think it is metal. I think it's and just it's a not thinner mag- metal. It's not just bad. for the listeners. It's not a magnetic cap, but it is no. very stiff. It's very solid. You can lift it up by that cap easily. Here we go, guys. I'm excited. Good God. You wearing this shit? <laughs> Woo. Hmm. Right. Let's, right. Let's also, before you kind of get into it, let's try and come in at it in a non-judgy place let's be Absolutely. open-minded like Absolutely. let's come in like let's forget the marketing let's forget the packaging let's imagine you're in a fragrance store someone's just sprayed a strip and said oh what do you think to this sir let's just try and yeah. clear the pre-judgment hmm. sort of from the head and just smell it as a fragrance when ryan was spraying it initially i thought sauvage in the air really i don't get that you're not going to believe me there, Steve, but I'm with him. But I'll say this. I smell it on the card. I do get Sauvage, but like a very dainty Sauvage, just barely, barely there. I don't really get it other than that initial spray. I was like, is this kind of Sauvage-y? On the skin, is it not just like a shower jelly sort of? Yes. Yeah. So I get, yeah. I get that it's like Sauvage in the sense that it's a blue shower gel fragrance, but I... It, like a side by side, I don't think it smells like Savage. Tony uh, from Fragdicted, he thought it was very much like Savage, but I just don't. I just don't get that. Hmm. I get it on the card on my skin. It's just very. When I say alcoholic, I don't mean like a drink. I mean like literally rubbing alcohol. It's very kind of strong. So I start kind of all I really smell. I was kind of losing it on the card. Honestly, I couldn't really smell it. I can smell it more on my skin. I just did a couple more sprays. Uh, I mean, fuck. <laughs> It's it's not look. Let's if we compared this to Blue Atlantis one that we smelled that time, that was a gem. I feel like this yeah. pulls the pants down on that one. But it's okay. like I don't know. You know the thing that sold me on it was the advert. Oh god, the guy. Had you seen that one, Steve? Uh, yeah, that the, I've seen. And the trouble is, all the adverts <laughs> they all use the same script, so it would be a different chiselled guy yeah. just talking about, you know, oh, it smells this. It's very manly. It's very woody. My wife loves it. It lasts twelve hours. They say the exact same shit in every advert. Yeah, uh, yeah. just because they're, they're well, we say advert. It's not, you know, it's a it's a fr- fr- an influencer shill, isn't it? But right. Um, <laughs> So it's annoying, but I mean, I think it smells nice. I personally, I don't think you can say it's a bad fragrance. I will agree. I, agree. I yeah. will agree. I don't think it's a bad fragrance, but it is very skin scent. But so far, because it's so generic smelling, it also kind of makes it smell kind of cheap. Oh, it absolutely smells cheap. Yeah. Not like trashy cheap. Just like I probably wouldn't spend what we spent on it. Well, you spent. It. I didn't spend it. What did you spend? No, I took it out of the joint account. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you wasted money on this shit? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Oh, fuck. It is a 100 mil bottle. Oh, See, yeah. I think it smells like two different fragrances. So, two fragrances I referenced in my video. And one of them is, in particular, is particularly well respected. So, I don't know if you've ever smelled uh, YSL Lom Team. Uh, I have not. No. See, hmm. it smells similar to that. That one, it's definitely not a clone. It does smell, it's not like a side by side direct copy of it but it's got a lot of similarities to it it shares a lot of notes that has rose in it this one absolutely doesn't but it's got a lot of similar notes and it does remind me of that 
yeah. along with there's Burberry Brit Rhythm or Brit Rhythm Intense. Um, mm. It smells a little bit of that because that's got like a, a spicy vibe. So that's kind of powdery spicy and it's got that. As this starts drying down, it gets a little bit sort of more sort of peppery spicy, which kind of reminds me of that. So those are the two fragrances. But La team is really nice. It's quite, I think it might be discontinued, but it's quite highly regarded. And that it smells not too dissimilar to that. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I, for me, like my personal opinion, like this is, to me, this smells like Gravite maybe found some thrown out Sauvage bottles behind Ulta or something, which is like a, a store around here. They sell cosmetics and fragrances. And I feel like they just like mixed it like one part of this and four parts water. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it smells like a watered down Sauvage. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know that it smells like Sauvage. I, I mean, Sauvage kills this fragrance. Oh, a hundred percent. But yeah, to me, it smells kind of young. Like I feel like if, you got this for a teenager. They'd be like, hell yeah. I think they did a good job of making a designer smelling fragrance. But, I mean, you're getting close to 100 bucks for 100 mil. I think, Steve, you used a discount code. You told me about it. I used the discount code. So, we got it under 70 bucks. But Yeah, I think mine was... Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I think I paid six just under 70 pounds i could have a look in a minute um for 100 mil so it's like 67 quid i'll have a look uh, skin's terrible well, I can't, but it's not it's not the worst it's just not that great the cardstock is the win for me i think a high schooler could wear this or a guy who just doesn't care about fragrances would probably see the advert that like the woman in the background is saying like as soon as he sprays it oh you know get in here so i can have a uh, hot passionate sex with you <laughs> <laughs> they're like if I, if I was you know a guy that wasn't into fragrances and needed a little help you know with the opposite sex yeah. and I saw that advert and bought this I'd be like eh, smells nice <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it smells perfectly fine. I think it's a good office scent. It's very inoffensive. I think nobody's going to really dislike it. Yeah, because you so can't I smell think it. If you want that that <laughs> daily driver office scent, I think it's fine. I think it. I think the opening is very pleasant. I like the sort. I agree. We've not, we've not talked about the notes actually. That's normally my job when I I guest on here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go you for need it. So, uh, so I'm just showing Ryan uh, how easy it is to pull this cap off. <laughs> Uh, After I jarred it loose, way. okay? <laughs> hey, you loosened it as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so at the top, there's bergamot, grapefruit, pepper, and rosemary. See, I don't get too much pepper in the top. I get it a little bit further down. And then uh, there's papyrus, cashmere wood, apple, and nutmeg in the mid. And in the base, there's musk, cedar, vetiver. And it lists ambergris, but we know that's ambroxin. That's not going to be actual ambergris. So interestingly, it does share a lot of similar notes to Lom Old Team. It shares mm. like the cashmere wood, the cedar. I'm just going to see if I can find the notes for it. I kind of get that apple. It shares a lot of similar notes. What's yeah, that one got fragrance I got you to smell well. at Drug Emporium, the red bottle? That said, hey, me and Todd used to wear that. It kind of smells similar to that Oh, too. Lacoste Red. It does smell like Lacoste okay. Red a little bit. Mm. I like that. There is that sweet fruitiness that when you said apple, I was like, oh, I can kind of smell apple in there, which does make me think of a YSL fragrance for sure. Um, yeah. Well, what's interesting. So if we look at like, again, just compare the notes just to kind of back my statement up. So it's got uh, the, of the same notes. It's got grapefruit. It's got apple. It's got uh, cedar. It's got vetiver. It's got cashmere wood. All of those exact same notes are in Lom Old Team as well so you can start seeing why it makes sense that i said it sort of reminds me of it to be honest but long old team's got rose geranium uh, so it's got a kind of a few others that kind of go in a slightly different direction but do you uh, think they were act, they were targeting that you think whoever did this was like hey here's an idea to kind of i don't know i mean it's funny because as far as i know i'm the only person that's referenced that long old team um hmm. fragrance um, well though but, I'm, you know. I'm more saying like whoever started this company was like obviously we can't go after aventus savage those are like yeah. two out in the open maybe we'll pick this one that people can't even say or pronounce and yeah it could be i think it's certainly the exact same genre as long old team it's very clean fresh this could be a signature scent like you say it wouldn't be for a fraghead because it's not exciting enough but you could easily yeah. wear this every day you could wear this in the office at a party in the evening yeah, there's there's not a situation you couldn't wear this fragrance. Right. Very um, like... Unless you were going to a fragrance uh, meetup. <laughs> you actually wanted to smell interesting. But other than that, it's absolutely a daily 
driver for the muggle or the average person, you know? Yeah. To the gym, after the shower, something. Yeah. Look, I'm going to try to be fair with this. I really do believe this is like night and day better than the Blue Atlantis thing we smelled a few months back. So it doesn't smell bad. Which, which do you prefer, Mike? I have interest. I mean, it's probably testing your memory, sort of, to be fair. But if you like you the Blue Atlantis over this, dude. I will say the Blue Atlantis did take a shot at a more interesting, that black tea sort of thing. It was fresh and it was like almost like. And now that I'm thinking about it, it makes sense, the name, because it smelled very wet, like very, you know, hydrated. Mm. This <laughs> is like that drier, cleaner. I think that this overall is a better yeah. wear. I don't hate the Blue Atlantis one like you did, Ryan. You were just so upset. I think if you had saw a bunch of people in the fragrance community pushing this one, you'd be losing your shit right now on it. Well, I mean, I hadn't had a chance to look. Have you seen, Steve? Have I mean, you don't have to name names, but have people in our community, have they been pushing this? And like it's, you know, an Aventus, you know, <laughs> replacement or something? No. So I've not seen the proper fragrance reviewers pushing this like they did for that one, like they've been paid. I've seen a lot of more general Instagram influencers pushing this. I was trying to find some genuine reviews of this fragrance. Yeah. And you can sort of tell the ones that are genuine, if you see what I mean, because they don't start saying, oh, it lasts 12 hours. It does. Right. They, they don't use that same script. So there's one guy that I think was a genuine review, and he was kind of like what he was saying. He, was, he sort of sprayed it and said, it actually smells quite nice. He did sort of say similar sort of things that, you know, it's not the most exciting, you know, different. It's obviously very a safe fragrance, but it's yeah. a, it smells very pleasant. Mm-hmm. And I think that's probably as strong as you're going to get with this. There's definitely going to be some people that love this fragrance, I think. Um, I, I'll agree. But- I do. I agree. I think there will be some people that like it. I don't hate this. It's nice on the card. <laughs> It really is nice on the card. I prefer the. I just looked how much I paid for it, and I paid about sixty pounds total, including delivery, because I got a discount code. I saved myself fifteen pounds. I don't know what that creates to in dollars, but yeah. I would say for me here, sixty pounds for a hundred mil. I think I said in my video, I said that for this fragrance, I'm kind of okay with, but I wouldn't yeah. want to pay more than that. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the limit for me. I think I wouldn't want to pay more than sixty pounds for for this uh fragrance at a hundred mil. But I think at that sort of price for a hundred mil it's okay. I can confirm well from my testing it definitely categorically doesn't last twelve hours. That's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, which, I could I could tell you which, that real quickly. Yeah. <laughs> which the thing is I said in my YouTube video that what really annoys me is the performance on this isn't actually bad, so they don't need to sprout this 12 hours bollocks. Right. It definitely rains in and it's quite close wearing after a couple of hours, but it lasts six, seven hours at a push if you kind of go heavy and stuff. So, mm-hmm. which is fine. That's plenty. like a working day. Yeah. Yeah, that's plenty. So they didn't need to bullshit and go, oh, it lasts 12 hours. If they just said it lasts a working day, <laughs> that would have been. <laughs> sufficient and not bullshit it's, you know that's what really wound me up I, I got quite angry in my video because <laughs> it was like it's just needless bullshit here's um, a question I have about that because I'm rewinding my mind to before I really got into fragrances yeah I can't once ever think of going I wonder how long this fragrance lasts never once. does this fragrance last 10 hours I don't remember ever wondering how long the fragrance last no. performance what you don't put a number on it until you start kind of sharing reporting back to the community as it were like yeah. when I started doing videos obviously people know well how many hours did it last they want to quantify it and there's so many factors that can affect that I think before I would probably I, before as a sort of fraghead I would probably spray something on in the morning if I couldn't smell it a few hours later after you know, I'd be a bit annoyed I'd be like oh I can't really smell myself or whatever yeah. but I wouldn't go oh it only lasted three and a half hours <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, know, you set a timer on your phone yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, we've never like really extensively been like hey we put this on at eight o'clock and it's uh, five thirty it lasted forever you know yeah. I'm with you too I've really never I mean you can just kind of tell when something's gonna smell good and last a little bit right the whole 12 hour jargon I guess that's selling points to people i don't know i think it's like how long is long enough it's never really an issue until it's an issue i guess you know what i mean like it's never an issue unless it just really did terrible yeah 
you know <laughs> the thing is i think for me personally i've always said if it lasts a working day like six to seven hours i'm happy because if you were then going to a, an event in the evening I, if that was the case i would take a fragrance with me and i would top up before i went to the event if like i was right. wearing that fragrance to work and then i was meeting some people after work for drinks i would absolutely take a fragrance with me to top up because yeah i would just want 100%. To smell good. so i don't need it to last 12 hours i just ideally i want it to last until i finish my working day and i can get home or get back to the the gym or the shower room or whatever so i can top it up and, and freshen up that's you, it that's what i need you just single-handedly destroyed big fragrance <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trying to shill us with this 12-hour bullshit because that's exactly what any sane individual does right i'm like man i'm about to be somewhere nice i've got an extra thing here i'm going to spray it on for i walk in i want to me and him every time we do a, a business meeting we bring a bottle with us and we're like now we'll put it on for even walk in the door. I don't yeah. have to have this twelve hour bullshit. Right. Yeah. Our meetings never last that long. I'm yeah. like, if if I can get twelve a, minutes, <laughs> yeah, a good hour out of this thing, we're probably doing pretty good. <laughs> We've literally been like, we know this one won't last long, but it smells good. Yeah. Now we'll do it. <laughs> and then open the door. Hey, fellas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's not big. for me when you're talking about performance it's more I think where it's more an advantage if you don't need if it's just strong in the sense that you only need one or two sprays because then you're getting value for money because it's going to last longer your bottle's going to last longer for so sure then you're saving yourself money that is when it starts becoming advantageous like strength and performance you guys may have answered this already but really quick price and trend price it's a cold dead corpse okay <laughs> but on the uh or on the trend but on the price it's uh 89 dollars on the thing and it's that whole gimmick if you buy two it's cheaper if you buy three. Oh yeah who's doing that i by hate the way. that shit that, again that website is shit it is really so really shit like, thank you who does their marketing because <laughs> it it put, actively put me off their website because it's so cheap it looks like some sort of fucking dh gate she and temu type situation where it's like oh like, who's bulk buying in this shit just yeah, to resell no, it you're gonna be like i'm gonna get 12 bottles and sell it to my friends like nobody does that so the moment i go on there and the moment a website does that whole oh 10 hours left and yeah, it's like yeah, it yeah. puts me off so it actively Same. put me off buying it but as i say i fell for it anyway and the other i remember part, oh go ahead go ahead i was just gonna say i fell for it once years ago i was buying like <laughs> a new we moved into our, our house that we we're in now like years ago in 2016 and we needed like i wanted to get a new bed like new house new bed i wanted to get like king size i was like and i was like found this website doing these beds and it was like 11 o'clock at night and there was a countdown and i was like oh my god i've only got 49 minutes to, to, to sign on a bed to get this discount and i was like panicking my wife's in bed i'm like oh my god i'm spending this money I don't know. and then i ordered a bed and i swear to god in front of my eyes it went past like the midnight and the countdown literally started again. Restarted. <laughs> it's, just yeah. like, it's literally restarted in front of my eyes. I was like, you fuckers, you got me. You got me. It's a valuable life me. lesson you learned. <laughs> yeah. That so I'd never fall for that shit anymore. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the brand name here because I actually like particular fragrance they put out, but their website is also dog shit, or at least it was at the time. And they do the thing where there's like there's only six left, but when you refresh the page, it's like there's 11 left. Like, oh, it's yeah. like a randomly, like a random number generator on it of yeah. all things. And so scarcity mindset, man. It's <laughs> what was it? The FOMO thing we were talking about? Yeah. I had to educate <laughs> yeah. Ryan on what FOMO me <laughs> meant today. Yeah. yeah. I know. Fear of missing out. Exactly. I know. I suffer yeah. That badly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I suffer. Okay. Who is, I was going to ask this and I got into price and trim, but who do you for real think goes out? and loves this so much they buy it they gotta wear it who's the kind of person that's gonna wear a fragrance like this hmm. well I think you're not gonna smell this in store so I think it's who's gonna buy it so who's gonna fall for that marketing shiz and I yeah. think it's gonna be somebody in there who's like a businessman maybe like 30, late 30s 30s 40s maybe who's quite successful yeah. middle management <laughs> And totally falls for all the marketing. He looks at this and goes, this is this is a fragrance I can wear today to uh, work. Women are going to love it. I'm going to be attractive. I'm going to be seen as <laughs> successful. It's just that guy that's going to fall. He's yeah. wearing Chino's shirt to work. It's, the, it's that guy. <laughs> he's, he's not into fragrances. Right. He sees the marketing and believes it and goes, I'm going to buy it. And, and he'll probably smell this and go, yeah, this smells nice. He'll probably be quite happy with his purchase, to be honest, that guy. I agree. I, I was yeah. going to say a key holder. A key holder. Oh my God. Nobody knows what that is. It's just below a manager. You're just like giving oh, the key okay. to open up. They rely on you enough to open the door and start yeah. scooping ice cream to serve people. <laughs> 
they okay. give you the key so, yeah. instead of the promotion exactly. and the raise. Yeah, exactly. I yes. <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel like it's yeah one of two. It's the guy that you're talking about, Steve, or it's just a young dude. Yeah. Uh, that again doesn't know much about fragrances is on social media and it's like this is gonna get you laid little guy <laughs> like okay I'm, I'm when you say buy. young how young do you, are you saying high school really yeah hmm. see i don't i don't, I don't think don't... they're full I, the guys that are in the marketing adverts and they're shilling it are a bit older than that so yeah I don't that think is true for it god there's yeah there was a dude in like late 50s in one yeah i saw and yeah, it was like exactly this is he like sprays it on his wife's like right next to him or something she's like oh yeah and then she starts kneeling you know down I, yeah she <laughs> you kneels know out I of frame by this <laughs> i think people is going to be non-frag heads who can't afford Aventus are going to see this as like an Aventus like cologne that mm. they can afford. Like they're going to think it's the same sort of get the same effect, uh, same impact as Aventus, mm-hmm. but they've beaten the system. They fell for the marketing, they've beaten the system. It's going to, yeah, that's yeah. probably it. Boy, they're quick on it too, because we were literally talking about doing this episode. I open up my laptop <laughs> and I pull up Instagram just to check the audio levels before we piped in with you. And it was the first ad that popped up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've, I'm have i fucked now because I've just searched to look up what the notes were for Gravita, <laughs> for Gravita. So that's yeah. it. I'm fucked now. You'll see uh, it for another it's year. It's going to be on my Instagram, on my Facebook. It's going to be all over the place again until I start or, like keep hiding the adverts again. Um, so, yeah, every time it's like, it's just like the fucking weird creepy neighbor that just keeps sticking their head over the fence. It's like, they're, they're, that's it. <laughs> so here's a question related to who's wearing it. Steve, you got a full bottle of this bad boy. Mm. Yeah. Are you going to be wearing this ever? So, actually, I wore this. Uh, I wore this quite a bit for a f- good few weeks, actually, because I, as I say, I think it's a perfectly pleasant fragrance. And I was in my YouTube video, I was talking about as much as I'm into fragrances because of my day job where I'm, I'm kind of in sales. So, I'm, I'm seeing clients and customers and things. I don't want to smell challenging. I don't want to smell of oud. I don't want to smell of a donkey's asshole. I want to <laughs> smell. I want to smell mass appealing, clean. So all these sort of shower gel fragrances are a really good daily driver for my sort of day job. Yeah. So that's why I ended up buying this. I thought, oh, I'll give it a go because I just wanted an alternative to like the Blur de Chanel's and the Sauvages and all that sort of shit. Right. So I did wear this for quite a few weeks. Um, and eventually, so I got quite a few wearings out of it and I did wear it a fair bit. And then eventually I was just like, I like it, but I don't love it. So why don't I just wear a fragrance that I actually love? Uh, right. Because I've got like Blur de Chanel's and I've got other ones and there's another fragrance that we'll maybe do another episode on that, I, that I've fallen in love with. So in the end, I thought, oh, I might just stick it on eBay and see what I'll get. So there was a, like an eBay uh, seller's deal on and I stuck it on eBay as, a, as an auction and it ended up, somebody got into a bidding war and I ended up selling it for more than I paid for it. So I actually made <laughs> wow. a profit on this fragrance. <laughs> okay, yeah. Patreon's, hear that because we're going to be giving this away to you on patreon you could end up being a very wealthy individual (laughs) you could you could make tens of dollars (laughs) no doubt okay you're gonna skip it sample it or buy it what are you gonna do steve after buying it and selling it on ebay (laughs) you're gonna buy it again (laughs) i mean what i would ah, this is a real tough one because like i say i think for the right person this is a good fragrance I think but the probably if you're listening to this podcast you're not that person <laughs> right uh, but yeah. if it was you know some guy that you're meeting down in the office or whatever if they just wanted a daily driver for work you might tell them to, to sample this to be honest because it's a bit different but Mm-hmm. If you're a frag kid, if you're in this community, if you're a regular listener to this podcast, it's it's got to be a skip, isn't it, really? I feel <laughs> like even at this price in the US, 75 bucks, even at this price, you can find for 40, 50 bucks, mm. less challenging, great smelling fragrances around that price that are probably better than this. Mont Blanc at Spore, out the gate for me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, my argument to this is, and this is why I sort of wanted to buy this, is... You, there is a risk that you start smelling like other people though this is the thing like I like I said yeah. I've got Bleu de Chanel I've got the Eau de Parfum and the Parfum version both uh, Eau de Parfum is practically empty there's nothing left I've nearly finished the Parfum I've got a lot of those I've finished a bottle of Prada Lom so a lot of those clean office style fragrances because of my day job mm. I've I've worn I've used 
So somebody like me, you want something that's a bit different so you don't smell like every other person. So that's where I try to, to move away from your sauvages and all that sort of shit. But it's hard because the moment you move away from it, you just smell generic where blood Chanel smells good it's a shower gel fragrance but it's the best shower gel fragrance really you know it smells very good so that's the challenge yeah i you know i never thought of that sort of you get the safe clean generics and then you start smelling overly generic so then you look for another generic fragrance that's less generic because it's yeah. less adopted it's a fine line because you want to sell mass appealing but you want to smell smell different mass appealing if you know what i mean you want to smell oh he's really good and but you don't want to think oh he smells like the guy that i met last week for that other client meeting you know it's <laughs> right like i've been in that situation where i've i've stayed over in a hotel with my work colleagues i've gone down to breakfast i've sat down i was like oh i could smell sauvage i'm like oh who's wearing sauvage and two or three people have answered oh it's me like all at the same time like literally at the table like three people are wearing sauvage it's like that's you don't want to be that guy do you no I know, not at all i don't want to be the, I know that guy don't... smelling sauvage in general <laughs> Exactly. Like you love Prada Luna Rosa Carbon, which I oh, do yeah. it's a, as well. It's a beautiful fragrance, but it does smell like Sauvage and like other people. And you For sure. probably don't want to smell like other people, do you? So Not all the time, but God damn, do I love wearing that occasionally. It is, every time you wear it, it's amazing. For me, guys, it, this, is a, uh, this is an easy skip. It's I feel like Steve and probably you a little bit, but definitely Steve. Steve is actually breaking this down great and giving it a fair shot. And I really am trying to, I'm probably going to be a little bit biased, but I just feel like just knowing we can go to Drug Emporium, I can get some for 40, 50 bucks that I feel like would just blow this out of the water. This is a little too quiet for me, a little too safe. It does to me smell a little bit like Lacoste Red, maybe had sex with Sauvage. It <laughs> smells a little bit like both. But it's like really watered down. And even if I could get this for $40, I would not get this. Even if I got it that cheap, I'd be like, it's just not worth that to me. Me personally. Well, I mean, you guys, I'd listen to your Cool Water episode by Davidoff. <laughs> and that you, you can get for, what did you get it for? Less than 20 bucks. And yeah, you absolutely fell in 16. love with that fragrance. And it's yeah. killer. It blows 16. this out of the water to me personally. But it is yeah. got its own personality. For this sure. is way more appealing uh, than that. I honestly believe if it hadn't been for the really cringy ads and the fact that it's some company that mainly does like face scrubs and shit like that, if this was in a different bottle by a designer and we smelled it, we may go, eh, it's kind of generic, but we wouldn't go like it's a shitty fragrance. We would just go, mm, it belongs on the shelf, no. you know, the department store shelf, not my personal shelf. <laughs> but uh, I think we would think that like it smells good. Yeah. If I try really hard, I can get a little bit of the pepper there and a little <laughs> bit of the apple. But but all in all, yeah, I think it's a skip just because it is so generic. And I'm thinking about my own personal collection going, mm, I probably wouldn't wear this. I got two bottles of Lunarosa Carbon. So if I want to smell that type of vibe, I'll wear that. I love that fragrance. It's almost the same price. We can get a 100 ml bottle for 80 bucks. So I would hands down always buy that over this at the same price. But if you can get it at a discount and, you know, you're looking for something like Steve is saying that is less worn, I don't think it's a bad option. Mm, agreed. Well, I guess the majority well, rules on this one, guys. <laughs> it, it smells like Lomol Team. So if you like that fragrance, yeah. this might be worth a smell. Lomol Team is better. It's better quality. It's got rose and stuff, which, which makes it more interesting and goes in a slightly different direction. But it does smell like that, So, um, which I think is discontinued. So perhaps if you were a fan of that fragrance and you want a, a poor man's version of it as such, this could be <laughs> a shout. But yeah, there's, there's other it. options. I thought this was going to be really, really bad. And it's actually, I'm surprised at how decent it is. Yeah, it's not bad. It is definitely decent. I don't want people to misconstrue everything I'm saying, like it's not worth it to somebody. But just for me, it is a skip, but it's not a bad scent. It is very light, though. I feel like it's really dissipating. Hmm. 12-hour claim with me would not be happening with this thing. I don't think 12 hours, but I definitely think, yeah, six to eight hours, I bet you could get just guessing on my skin. It's pretty there, and I did two sprays. Hmm. All right. (laughs) <laughs> we'll see. I feel like it's doing what somebody like uh, Raja Dove would say is like it's you know, it's not pulling out like real strong emotions either or it's just riding the line super safe. Yeah, it's kind of that saying if it's not a fuck yes, then it's a fuck no. Yeah, you know, 
let's be honest, like I said earlier, though, this isn't for the fragrance community. No, right. This fragrance is absolutely was never created with the fragrance community in mind, trying to like come up with something different, interesting, break the mold, you know, shake up the industry. This was a hundred percent designed for the thirty somethings scrolling on Instagram that fall for these ads. Yeah. I guess myself included, I guess, because I felt for it, but you know, <laughs> such, but you know, there was some irony in my purchase. Yeah, 100%, um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's those, that's 100% who this is. And as I say, I think the vast majority of people that do fall for the adverts will smell this and probably be quite pleased with the purchase. I think they'll think it smells nice and they'll be quite happy with it. And they might even re up on it, to be honest. But the people <laughs> listening to this podcast. <laughs> Hey, the vast majority of those people <laughs> will not necessarily kind of enjoy this fragrance as much. Why ever run out when you could just buy three bottles and get a discount? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me ask- Basically, they're trying to start a pyramid scheme. <laughs> buy loads yeah. of bottles, sell them to your friends. Yeah. When they sell them on, you take a cut of it. Yeah. It's just yeah. a, a fragrance pyramid. Let's do that shit. <laughs> Well, let me ask this. When you first were sampling this, did your wife smell it from the other room and just go freaking nuts on you? Wanna like the commercial? Throw you on I, the bed? I, I heard her panties hit the floor because <laughs> they're, they're not those panties are not these skimpy little lacy numbers. Like used to be. So I I literally heard the thud and I was like, I'm in here. <laughs> the chastity belt came off and it was here. Yeah. I heard the padlock uh, <laughs> and the chains hit the floor and then I'm like I'm in here yeah anybody exactly listening it. I promise you that will not happen it's okay I don't know it's I mean right. depends on how generic your wife is <laughs> <laughs> okay well I think We've got other fragrances to smell ladies and gentlemen yeah. so we're going to slide out on this episode but all in all, I, if I have to sum it up, I'm very shocked that it's actually decent. I am shocked. It is actually decent. So, yeah, maybe it's a sample for somebody. Skip for me. And Steve, you were, you're saying this is a sample, but it could be a buy for somebody out there yeah. that has no life. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, yeah, they want a life. So they buy this fragrance. Hey, they this for the marketing. A yeah. life in a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for joining this episode and thank you Steve for always stopping in here bringing up some really cool uh, fragrance stuff I feel like we have more fun with him f- uh, figuring out this shit than we do with ourselves sometimes but 100%. <laughs> thank you so much and uh, until next time everybody spray, spray it up spray it up, up. yo <laughs>